All right, guys, we are back with another XRP video and a lot of XRP news going on right now. A lot of stuff happening. We're five days away from a key deadline. But in the middle of all of that, in the midst of the big SEC versus Ripple debate, will the SEC appeal? This is their final decision, their final uh, chance to appeal against Ripple in this case. Again, five days away from that deadline. In the middle of all of that, we've got a lot going on within the XRP ecosystem. Number one is XRP ETF. That's right. Bitwise has filed for an XRP ETF. Now, there are some differing opinions on if this will get approved or not and what type of things would have to happen in order for it to get approved. And I want to break down exactly what this article is talking about in this video because it highlights a lot of interesting points. This title of the article here, Zero Chance XRP ETF Approval If the SEC Appeals Ripple's Case on October 7th. This is coming from Galaxy Digital Head of Research. Now, here's what we've got to know. Key takeaways, and we'll dive into some of the specifics here. The SEC's appeal in the Ripple case could derail the approval of an XRP ETF. Maybe not fully derail it, but this is opinions of others, by the way. I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on all of this, too. But I think it could maybe push the can down the road, if anything else. And then investor interest in XRP ETFs hinges or could hinge on the SEC's regulatory decisions here, meaning there would be demand for an XRP ETF if we had regulatory clarity from this SEC versus Ripple lawsuit. And I definitely think that could be something to watch as well. Now, Bitwise's XRP ETF bid, it says here from this article, is unlikely to succeed if the SEC appeals the Ripple ruling, which determined that XRP sales on secondary markets to retail investors were not securities. This according to Alex Thorne, head of research at Galaxy Digital. It says here, the deadline for the SEC to appeal the ruling in its case against Ripple coming up five days from now, October 7th. The agency has not decided whether to make an appeal. Bitwise has proceeded with its plan for an XRP ETF. The firm officially submitted an application a uh, couple days ago, a move that could serve as the foundation for an XRP ETF in the, in the future here. Now, Eleanor Tourette, somebody we've had on the channel before, She's coming in from Fox Business, uh, one of the head journalists over there who covers crypto and blockchain. She said a former SEC lawyer said the SEC would probably challenge the court ruling. So she is forecasting that the SEC will appeal coming up here on October 7th because she said, uh, and I quote, everyone over there at the SEC truly believes that the decision is wrong that it's not good law and should be appealed. So uh, she is indicating that they are going to appeal this coming up on October 7th, which, by the way, is uh, next Monday, if you're wondering, and uh, that if this were to happen, obviously the SEC, if they proceeded with an appeal, it is expected to extend the litigation into 2025, which is obviously something we do not want to happen, but it is possible here. Keep in mind, this lawsuit has been ongoing since December 2020. Insane. And we could be seeing it being pushed into 2025. It says here, though, if the SEC does not challenge the court ruling, again, deadline coming up on uh, next Monday, October 7th, Ripple could finalize its legal battle after paying the penalties. Again, the penalty on the table is $125 uh, million. Commenting on Thorne's statement, Bloomberg ETF analyst Eric Balkunis said XRP ETFs would face dismissal if Harris wins in the White House. So could all of this hinge on who gets in? Uh, will we see more ETFs if we have a Trump White House versus Harris White House? That's a whole nother uh, Pandora's box, if you will. Balkunis said near zero chance if Harris wins. I agree. Trump victory. Anything is possible on this front, in my opinion. Uh, that's Balkunis coming in uh, with his take. He, again, is coming in from um, Bloomberg. He's been a huge ETF analyst with uh, Bitcoin's ETF and Ethereum's ETF. But uh, furthermore here, to close out this article, uh, 
he said Harris has publicly expressed support for emerging technologies, including crypto, showing a willingness to foster innovation while also protecting consumers. Ripple co-founder Chris Larson is among prominent industry figures that have expressed endorsement for Harris, which this is interesting. This caught a lot of attention not too long ago that Ripple co-founder Chris Larson is actually in favor of Harris and said that this, this could be good uh, for their company. I suppose if the SEC appeals, but Harris wins, there's a possibility that the SEC eventually withdraws that appeal, Thorne said. Uh, I'll be shocked if they don't appeal before next Tuesday. So the growing sentiment here, guys, is that the SEC will appeal. Now let's take a look at the price. And by the way, I want to get your guys' thoughts on all of this so far. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I still want to give you guys some price outlook, give you guys my opinion on all of this. So make sure you guys stick around to the end here. Uh, but XRP sitting at 58 and a half cents right now today. We did top out at about 66 cents at the end of September. Uh, I closed out on a couple of my short-term swing trades there thanks to that pop-up to 66 cents. I do all my leverage trading over at Margex. I had two positions close out successfully thanks to that increase up there to 66 cents. So I was pumped about that. Made some nice money on those. If you guys are interested in signing up with Margex, there's no KYC. It's one of the top leverage trading platforms out there. Links down below. I've got some open positions still here on XRP. I actually still have a uh, 5X position open. Um, a $306 5X leverage position open up on XRP. And I opened it right at this price point. Uh, I won't get liquidated until XRP, hopefully this doesn't happen, if it got down to about 46 and a half cents, then I'd be liquidated. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think we're going to hold the line here at least at the 50 cent level, even if we get a further dip. And that's why I'm going long here with 5X leverage on XRP at 58 cents. I truly do believe we're going to get a breakout to the upside uh, sooner rather than later with XRP uh, as this market is slowly but surely turning. Right now, the overall market Coming up a little bit here today, Bitcoin's climbing back up close to 62,000. A lot of turmoil going on in the Middle East yesterday uh, caused markets to dump for sure to start the month. But uh, we're starting to recover a little bit here today across the board. We do have some altcoins making some moves as well. Uh, but XRP here on the chart, you guys can see big line of support here at this mid 50 cent level, you know, 58, 56 cents in between this level. The technicals still look pretty good. Short term, you know, moving averages are showing sell orders, but it wouldn't take much for us to get back up to that 60 cent range. And these would all flip bullish again. The good thing is our long term moving averages, right? Our 200 day, this is our most important. We're well above it here. So as long as we stay above this 200 day moving average around 55 cents, I am going to be bullish uh, on XRP. And again, if you guys are interested in trading with me over on Margex is where I'm doing my leverage trading. That's why I took a long position at 58 cents here on XRP. Got a Bitcoin short in right now that's in profit. Check that out. It's up 18% right now. Uh, I shorted Bitcoin at 63,000. Current price, 61,800. Pretty pumped about that. And uh, we're currently getting our ass kicked though on this uh, CASPA trade, but hey, things happen. You know, you can't win them all, but hey, we'll keep it open here. I think there's still a good chance this will turn green eventually here, the long on CASPA. So again, Margex link down below, guys. This is my general take. You know, we're waiting on October 7th. Uh, I do think if we get an appeal that this will go into 2025 because October 7th, obviously we're in Q4 uh, and it wouldn't be the end of the world, obviously, but the growing sentiment here is that uh, the expectation, rather, from all the analysts out there, all the professionals, all the experts, they believe the SEC is going to appeal in this case. Uh, let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Will this hinder or hurt an XRP ETF approval? Maybe in the short term, but I think long term here, XRP is primed to get an ETF listing uh, down the line. That's my general take. That's my thoughts. Appreciate you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button on your way out. Subscribe to this channel. Ring the notification bell. And this is where you come back for your XRP news. Appreciate you guys for watching. Take care.